Hi, welcome again to the Milling Law YouTube channel. Today we're talking about hobby farms, hobby businesses, really any kind of business that is not your primary source of income. A lot of these businesses, uh, they, they may or may not even generate profit. Uh, so I get a lot of questions about whether people should incorporate or whether they should create some kind of business entity or whether they should just run it all through their personal tax return. Now you'll always wanna check with your CPA because CPAs deal with this stuff every day, but I come across it often enough that I, I can kind of direct people in the general direction where they need to go, but usually still referring them to their CPA. Uh, but so just to kind of touch on some of the general rules here, uh, if you have a business or, or any kind of source of income, generally, if you're working for that and it's not passive, so let's compare, uh, let's say, uh, uh, performing some kind of service with uh, have, using an asset for rent. So uh, doing home maintenance is going to be taxed differently than uh, having a rental property because with the rental property it's considered passive income because while you might be doing some maintenance on the property itself your source of income there is from the rent on the property uh, so you're not actually earning that income as far as the IRS is concerned so it's not subject to self-employment tax generally however if you have a home repair business you're earning that money so it's it is subject to self-employment tax so to the extent that your business is generating any kind of self-employment revenue, um, you do need to pay self-employment tax. And that's in addition to your income taxes and everything like that. Now that self-employment tax ends up being just above 15%. If you have an S-Corp, however, um, your self-employment tax liability goes down by quite a bit because you are taking only a portion of that income as self-employment tax, usually about a third, and then the rest is considered ordinary income not subject to that tax. So for many people, you're saving 10% on your taxes by forming an S-Corp. However, there are certain costs associated with forming that S-Corp, such as um, getting it set up, having an attorney set it up, your state registration fees, and most importantly, your payroll filings. And usually you'll have uh, an accounting firm take care of that. And for most people, those costs uh, are um, defrayed by their tax savings at about the $15,000 to $20,000 a year mark. So if you have a business that has self-employment income, so this is a lot of hobby farms, uh, I, I get questions all the time about Etsy shops, the kind of these online craft shops, uh, even multi-level marketing. Any, any of these types of things, if, if it's kind of your secondary source of income or even your primary, you seriously want to consider looking into an S-Corp if you pass that threshold of fifteen dollars to $20,000 a year. Um, when it comes to passive income, it's a little different generally. Um, it really doesn't matter too much if we have it in an LLC or not. Uh, there, there are other factors there um, uh, outside of taxes such as governance and uh, potentially liability protection or just uh, kind of segregation of interests. Whatever that may be, um, you, you might want to consider that for passive income, but, but the, the question I get most often is whether or not people need to form an S-Corp for these little kind of hobby situations where they're, they're not sure if, if they necessarily need a business entity for it or not. In the meantime, if, you, if, if it's a very low liability risk type of job and you're like, like one of these online craft shops, for example, and there's um, really not a whole lot of liability exposure, then um, if you're below that threshold, just getting a simple DBA or doing business as name might suffice uh, because you're going to be paying those taxes anyway. The costs of the tax savings of getting an S Corp are not going to be defrayed by the income level that you're at yet. So just be aware of that. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us anytime.